So, that's right, here I am once again, and I am, you should know it, I am number motherfucking one, hardcore rock, and this right now is a channel that is, that is took over TikTok, the channel that should be put over on Instagram, the channel that steps on your toes, and the channel that pushes those boundaries. It's a people's wrestling channel, bitches. And right now, it is very important, so important, damn important. It is important that you check every single one of my other videos. The description is there for only you to read. You smash that bell right now. Turn in every single one of my notifications on. You tell all your friends. You spread the word. You get your voice heard. And you tell every one you fucking know. You and me on Facebook, Ricky J. Pate. Follow me on Twitter, Rick the Rock 30. Go and view and like WWA World Wrestling Alliance on Facebook. You get every single one of my other videos. Share, 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 share. Comment below, comment below, comment below, comment below. Every single one of you, check out the website that I write for. Wrestling with Johnners, Wrestling with Johnners, Wrestling with Johnners, Wrestling with Johnners. And uh, of course, never forget in this, and you shouldn't either. The world shouldn't. The universe shouldn't. The, for those two. Two, two, two shout outs. You like and you subscribe. Is that easy? Like and subscribe. That simple. Like and subscribe. Crystal clear. Like and subscribe. And speaking of shout outs, I've got one to do. Someone commented and they want to be friends with the man. And this shout out goes to Zymer Tracks. So spelled X I M E R Tracks. R T R A C K S. There's your first shout out. You'll get another shout out in another video. But to everybody else, everybody else, you like and you subscribe. I can't make it any more simple. Like and subscribe. So, this video is all about me, just like it should be. And I know the question you've all been asking. The qu you hang on. The question that you have all been wanting the answer to. And that is, did I win at WrestleMania? In the true two main events, in the real main events. You forget about Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar. That's a, that's a main event WWE want you to believe. That's a, that's a main event they put into your end and they put on TV and think, this was a main event. It wasn't. I am the main event. I was the main event, my matches were the main event, and you're all asking, did I win, did I keep the hardcore title, that's your first question, did I destroy and beat MGF, did I bury him, well this should answer your fucking question, as you sit there liking and subscribing, liking and subscribing, Does this answer your question? Yes, I beat him. Yes, I'm still a 35 time, 35 time, 35 time, 35 time hardcore champion. I'm still hardcore rock. I made history. I beat him in the first ever Falls Count Anywhere. No holes bar match, just like I said I would. And he tried to run away. MGF tried to run away in this match. Tried to be a piss boy. Tried to be a fucking bitch. Tried to be a pansy. Tried to be a loser. And ran away. Tried to go to the toilet. Tried to go back to, and run away to awful elite wrestling. And I had none of it. This was no holes barred. This was Falcon anyway. And I was going to beat him. I was going to bury him. I was going to bury him. And that is exactly what I did, I beat MGF, proving to the goddamn world, all of the world, that I, right here, am the number one 
heel. Now, that was the only match I was involved in at WrestleMania. And, and by the way, if any of you want a shot at this, it's right here. You come and get it. You know where I fucking am, don't you? Now, that was the only match I was involved in. I was involved in a very important match. The first ever last man standing first blonde match. With four championships on the line, with my hardcore title on the line, with the WWE title, with the 24 7 title, with a prediction title on the line. Once again, making history because that's what I do. I'm all about the big moments, all about the huge moments, all about making that history. I'm, I'm all about that. Because I'm the talk of the town. I am the talk of the internet, not anybody else. WrestleMania got over. WrestleMania was big because of me, twats. So, and my opponent in this match was the holiday Christopher Mace. A thorn, thorn in my side. A man that I needed to beat for so long. A man that got lucky wins and flute wins. A man that I've seen these little videos on YouTube and they're all, they're all great and all funny and people loving him and... No. I'm who you should love, you utter losers. And did I win? Was I the last man standing? Did I draw first blood on Christopher Mace? What do you think? Let me hear. What do you fucking think? This will answer your dumb question. Are you, re are you ready for this? As you sit there and hit like, like and subscribe. Smash like and subscribe. There it is. That answers your stupid, silly question. I am once again the reigning, defending, and best ever WWE champion. I am once again the 24 7 champion. You forget our truth, forget Mojo Rolly, forget Chris Mace. Here's where we're at. Spotlight on me, the camera's on me, the lights on me. I did it. And now, 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 the darkness can truly die. The darkness can truly go away because the darkness is happy now. The darkness that was controlling me, that was inside my mind, telling me these voices, saying they wanted to hurt Christopher Mace. You know, these voices, the darkness, my inner darkness, my inner soul, if you could call it that, now can die. It's happy. It is champion again. It will leave me alone. It will go back into hiding. But let me take everybody through this match. This match wasn't easy. This win didn't come easy. I want to put you over for the first time ever, Mace. I want to put you over. <laughs> you, I, it was a tough battle to win these. It was a tough battle to become champion once again. That's why I'm your two-time 24-7 champion. Two-time WWE champion. And it wasn't that easy. You made me look deep inside me. You made me look. You made me go back. And become broken, didn't you? You made me go back and look at the three faces. You made me go back and revisit being an A-lister. Because it, it, it took Hollywood movie stunts to beat you. You made me go back, burn myself. Because <laughs> it took fire. To beat you. You made me go back. I 
and revisit everything I've ever done. Every character I've come up with. And look deep inside of me. Because I... I was going at myself like a failure because I couldn't beat you. I couldn't get the job done. I couldn't bury you. But that's exactly what I did. I, I, I and I alone. None of you, you fuckwits. I <laughs> was the last man standing. Forget Edge. I was the only last man standing on that night. I drew, I drew, I drew first blood. On Christopher Mace. And now. I saw your little video of NWA. You can go ahead. And change your name. Not to the holiday Christopher Mace. Whoever came up with that. Is stupid. But you can but you can go ahead. And change your name. To the jobber. Christopher Mace. Because <laughs> that's what you are. You're a jobber. And now I'm no longer hardcore rock. I had to bring back the hardcore tags. This is what the darkness wanted. The darkness wanted that. It wanted to be champion again, but it just wasn't enough. This is why I had to become champion again. And now my new name is Triple Champ Rock. So Mace. <laughs> Mace. You actually, do you think, do you think this is done? This isn't done by a long shot. Because I'm not taking this win and going away like you sh actually think I'm going to do. On um, your predictions title, don't bother sending it. I don't want that piece of trash. I've got the towels right here. I've got the goal right here. But here it is. The final match. The final match. The final match. The final match in this chapter happens. In what over... Just under five weeks time. The date is May 10th, 2020. The place is money in the bank. And maybe on that night, hell, I'll just win the money in the bank again and cash in for another championship and become four-time champion. Become the only man to ever hold four titles to become the, and become four-champ rock. But back to our match. It's going to go down like this. Because I know, yes, our match at WrestleMania was a retirement match. But you're still sticking around. So, it's going to be... Going to be with the WWE title, 24-7 title, hardcore title. And hell, for the fun of it, the prediction title on the line. And it's going to be you, the jobber, standing across the ring looking at the man with all the gold. The man that beat you. The man. Triple Champ Rock. And the only way this can end. The only way this, this can really end. Is only one way. And it's going to be history again. History is on my side. It's going to be the first ever in WWE history. The first ever triple cage match. The winner. Which will be me. Walks out with all the gold. And the loser. <laughs> is never heard from again. Because just like John Cena in the Firefly Funhouse, their time will be over. My time will be now. Just like the Fiend, and I'm living through him, just like every, just like the Fiend is the new top star, I'll be the new top star around here. It goes down like this. You lose at, you, when you lose at money in the bank, you're done. <laughs> when you lose at money in the bank, you retire. And I can't believe I'm champion again. Well, actually, I can't believe it. I knew it was going to happen. I predicted it. And that wasn't a prediction. That was a spoiler. But this isn't a spoiler. At money in the bank, is a guarantee. fucking tea. So that is enough from your champ. Your triple champ. Everybody like and subscribe. Everybody like and subscribe. Because I am your three-time triple champion. I'm always number one and I prove it every single day. If you don't think I am, come at me. Bring it, losers. Because I am triple 
champ. Rrr.